Hello everyone, this is Anirudh. Today, we will see an app, how it will help us to change the ownership of any existing app. Let's say in your organization, there are many developer or app maker are there. They create some of the apps and they left the organization. Now you need to change the ownership with someone who already exists in current organization. So how you can do that? So if you see one of the recent blog from Microsoft, it is published on May 10, 2022 this year. So here uh, they clearly said there will be a PowerShell command. In, using this command, you can change. And many of the videos you can find it. Uh, even you can take this example of this blog. It is a nice written blog. How you can get that all the information uh, before running that PowerShell. You need few of the things like in environment ID, app ID, and the user whom you wanted to give the ownership or the new owner. Okay, so everything need before running that power cell and using that you can do. But a, a what I feel is in a low code platform, people are very reluctant to run a power cell. They always have a fear what will happen. They, they don't know. So let's create a power app which help us to do the same thing. Okay, so, so let's say this is one of the app I have developed. Uh, first thing, what you can see, a list of environments in your organization. This is the total number of environment. Few of the companies have a lots of environments they have created because of different, different purpose. So this is one of the uh, environment. Select this environment. It will listed me that all the apps inside that particular environment. So here is the count. You can see 87 apps are there. Now you can see few of the apps are created by me, few of the creators by others and all are listed here. Here there is a search. You can also search with, with the, um, I mean, owner or with that app name. Okay. That's how it is designed. Now. Let's say one of the app for test app. I'm taking this one. This is the this is the details of the app. Now I wanted to change with someone else. Let's say this guy and me, who is the current uh, owner. I wanted to be as a co-owner. Okay, so then I am selecting this one. Is saying done. So if you come here and go again and search it, if you see the name is same just like earlier because you need to refresh the screen or reload that particular app. Here, if I search it, I can see it is already changed. So there is no need of running a parcel command, but of course, there are certain access you need. One is called Power Platform Admin. If you have access of Power Platform Admin, whoever created app inside your tenant or company's tenant, you can change with someone else. That is not a problem. But if you don't have that kind of access, then you need to check whether a admin access is sufficient, environment admin access is sufficient for that. So let's see how that app get created. Okay, this is just a starting screen, nothing much. Then this is the all the environments you will get. So here are four connectors I have used, three for from Power Platform or Power Apps connector, and one is Office 365 user. So for this one, you can only run whenever you are Power Platform admin. So there are multiple, uh, you know, there are multiple admins in Office 365. SharePoint admin, Power Platform admin. So if you carry this kind of roles, you can then run this particular uh, API or get all the environment inside your tenant. And so that is the one of the thing I have done. Next is, I mean, inside that API, there are some properties, then display name of that environment you can get. And many of the information is not only that uh, one or two information you will find 
you'll find a lots of information you you can go through one by one okay so yeah i'm just ignoring this time so whenever someone select this one it will redirect that another screen in this screen you can see i mean of course there are searchable so search i have written like that one of the thing i just wanted to tell you that maximum 1100 item you can fetch from this api so you need to give a top if you not giving that by default 100 uh, apps you will get so some of the organization have a lots of app because everyone actually developing in that particular company in the default environment so if you wanted to access all these uh, apps so you need to maintain the maximum number okay so as i said by owner you can search and by name of that particular app you can search so here you have done next is that any of the app you just selected after select you can get that current owner you then what i have done i have actually called that of 65 users uh, api by default 15 i have loaded and if you search i mean next 15 will come based on your uh, search keyword and then there are three kind of uh, access or roles one is can view only view can edit co-owner can view with share sometimes what happen is that some of the app people wanted to share by that particular user who already using that app so based on that you can do like that many of the things uh, you can get uh, from these three connector as i said like i can tell you that many of the icons i have created as an image correct let me show you this one i have not uploaded image here so what i have done basically let me show you so this is the image uh, control inside that image control what i have done background image uri this is the one of the property inside that uh, api so you can find it and then i mean there is a field property in the field property of that image what i have done is this is the critical one what i found so if you get that um, one of the property is called background color you will get rgba and other things let me show you okay so i'm just taking this one and background color so in the background color if you see it is saying The background color it is showing RGBA, RGBA or something like that. Correct. So if you see that some of the capital, the older one is small, something like that. So this is the text. This text you cannot direct put in the fill uh, area so that it will automatically come that color. No, it will not. So what you need to do is that you need to take that value of every single thing so there are four i mean parameters so i split with comma take one at a time and put with rgba inside that function one by one so this is one of the thing i need to do even i put lower because i wanted to consistent not capital not small kind of things so this is all about this this function rest of the things are pretty much same so so one of the thing i have done is that let's say you have access of particular app but you cannot i mean remember what is the all of this app so you if you click this one it will redirect to that particular app and open it for you so these are the things i have done this app is uploaded in the github i will give it that url inside that um, description box you can download it from here and use by yourself so that's all from today please let me know if you need any help to deploy this app thank you